My name is Amr Azim. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at New York City IVF. If you are diagnosed with endometriosis uh, and interested in uh, conceiving a child and having difficulty getting pregnant, there, are, there might be few facts that you are interested in. Endometriosis means that uh, the tissue that lines the cavity of the uterus escapes likely through the fallopian tubes an implant inside the ovary or on the surface of the peritoneal cavity. They are responsive to hormones, they grow and menstruate inside themselves, causing pain and also uh, causing scarring that sometimes entangles pelvic organs like the fallopian tubes and the ovary. Uh, if you were diagnosed with endometriosis and interested in getting pregnant, you would fall in one of two categories. Uh, you might have mild endometriosis with no scarring or minimal scarring, but few deposits in the pelvis. And in this case, you are uh, not infertile. You uh, probably have reduced fertility because of the chemicals uh, released by the endometriosis that might affect the sperm or the sperm-egg interaction, or the implantation of the embryo uh, uh, on the, into the lining of the uterus. And uh, in the initial step to address uh, uh, fertility in these situations is probably to stimulate the ovary to produce a larger number of eggs instead of one egg in your natural cycle, meaning two or three or four, and uh, prepare the sperm and implant it uh, or injected high up inside the uterus. Uh, ovarian stimulation with intrauterine insemination. On the other hand, if you were uh, uh, diagnosed with extensive endometriosis, um, uh, then uh, th that would require a little bit further attention. Uh, it is possible that in, in pelvic endometriosis, there are extensive deposits in the pelvis, the endometriotic spots in the pelvis, and uh, uh, more advanced scarring that can block the fallopian tube or enclose the, the ovary, causing in, in mechanical infertility or interfering with the transportation of the egg and the sperm. And uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, surgery can fix that. However, because the scars tend to recur uh, in the peritoneal cavity, uh, it usually yields less success than in vitro fertilization. In vitro fertilization entails not to use the fallopian tube at all, but to stimulate the ovary, retrieve the eggs, fertilize the eggs outside, uh, and transfer the, embryo, the embryos uh, one or more high up into the uterus. And, uh, uh, it usually it yields a good success rate in the presence of good ovarian reserve, meaning good number of eggs in the ovary and good response to fertility medications. A cautionary note here is advanced endometriosis sometimes implants inside the ovary and enlarges and causes cysts that are uh, filled with altered dark old blood. And uh, many times, gynecologists um, uh, recommend removal of such uh, cysts. The cautionary note here is that the removal of endometriotic cysts from the ovary uh, is associated in many cases with the reduction of ovarian reserve. Uh, the reason being that pieces of the ovary, of the ovarian tissue, will come out with the cyst, thus reducing the efficiency of the ovary and reducing the response to stimulation. So be very careful uh, if you are interested in getting pregnant and somebody uh, suggested that you should remove an ovarian cyst, uh, an uh, endometriotic ovarian cyst from the ovary. Uh, usually in the presence of good ovarian reserve, you would have a success rate for, with fertility treatment, a good success rate with fertility treatment, uh, whether it is mild or advanced.